Good evening. Welcome to everybody. Thank you for making the journey by air, by plane, by train to lovely Stowe, Vermont. I think it's just magnificent that Dan and Kelsey went to the trouble they did to travel all over New England to find a beautiful venue for us to celebrate on this weekend. And we've had fun. These events, as everybody knows, take they take that you know support of of all of the cast. And I want to thank all of the wedding party on behalf of Kelsey and Dan and on behalf of Diane and I for their support. The chore today of bachelor parties and bachelorette parties is just killing me, okay? The, the amount of fun that has to take place to truly get these weddings in gear, okay? I have been a distant observer of the fact that, that everybody came together. It's a large wedding party and you guys have done a lot of fun and made uh, unforgettable memories for both Dan and Kelsey. We're go just going to walk down the aisle, <laughs> and I don't know if we're going to throw a flower. So we're probably just going to walk down with the basket. Oh, yeah. Now what will we do? Who's getting married? My auntie Kelsey. She's right there in the white. The unveiling. I forget. I forget exactly where it was, but he had said he wasn't going to date for a while, and then in Kim's Kelsey, and he was gone. That was it. If there were bets being made, I was betting on me being the first one to be tearing up. So leading up to the wedding, people would ask me, you know, do you, do you like Kelsey's fiance? And little did they know the love story that I was about to pour upon them with that question. It's always hard for me to contain my enthusiasm for how great Dan is, but more importantly, how great they are together. I'll never forget the look in Kelsey's eyes when she first told us about meeting Dan. She had flown into Florida to see the birth of Annabelle, and she was completely goo-goo eyes, smitten over this boy she had just met a week ago. And I knew right away that he was the one. There's been a lot of planning for this day. All of it wonderful. But now, what I want to ask everyone to do, especially the bride and the groom, to just take a deep breath, let it out, and relax. For from this moment forward, we want the couple especially, but all of us, to enjoy this day. Uh-oh, one's going to go down the road there. They're sweating, they're all disheveled. Dan won us over immediately. Nick and him quickly discovered their love for IPAs and all things Game of Thrones. The kids loved him from the start, and he was Uncle Dan before long. I made him godfather to my youngest daughter, Clara, when he wasn't even officially in the family yet, and I think that's a true testament to how I feel about Dan. Dan, your genuine, kind-hearted, and lovable nature struck me from the beginning. But what I loved most was seeing how happy you made Kelsey I'm happy you continue to make her every day. Your love is inspirational. You complement each other perfectly and you're always in sync. So I want to say a few words about the bride and the groom and, and these are just kind of from the notes here and I put down Dan and I said just a really good guy and I will say that I have been blessed. I can't imagine the father of the bride that gets faced with this scenario where he and his future son-in-law or now son-in-law are like oil and water. I have two, now three son-in-laws, all of which are just magnificent partners to my daughters, magnificent contributors to the family in terms of everything they do. And Dan, you fit in like you just can't believe, okay? Dan has been at various times over the last couple years, under the guise of, you know, convenience and saving money, lived it with the Rileys at 29 Myers Farm Road. I'm used to separating his mail, I'm gonna miss that chore. But he's been a great roommate, okay? There's no towels on the bathroom floors. He became the pool boy, the maker of fires, and the fetcher of Chardonnay for Dai Rai. As I said here, Dan loves everything. And really, and very importantly, he always does the things 
that matter with no complaining. You know, Hingham, we're living there at the house. You know, whether it's the trip to the dump, cleaning up the yard, whatever has to be done, helping out with preparing the, 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 Sunday, the Sunday dinners, Dan's a doer, Dan's a giver. So I want to thank you and welcome you to our family. If we had a crystal ball and we could tell them everything that was going to happen in their lives, it would be so boring. You want to be a part of the life is the adventure. And every one of us needs to think about that. Every one of us is on a journey. But in that journey, we have to have the right attitude. And I say, I always say that the attitudes are the attitude we take through life as we journey for God. And so for, for Kelsey and Dan, they are going to they are going to have a journey which has already begun since they've met one another that takes a special receives a special blessing today through the sacrament of marriage, but a, a life and journey that we pray they have many, many decades together celebrating and living their life. Dan and Kelsey, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion? freely and wholeheartedly? Yes. We have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I, I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I am. We will. I, Daniel James, take you, Kelsey Marie, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. I, Kelsey Marie, take you, Daniel James, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. Kelsey, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. I am the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Daniel, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As I was jotting these notes down this morning, but the, the thing I put in quotes for her is always happy and goes with the flow. And since the day Kelsey was born in December 4th of 1990, as the youngest of three other active siblings, a very active family. I mean, Tom Rajat, my brother-in-law, who said the grace here a minute ago, and I have kind of an inside joke that when it rains, it pours relative to family outings in this family. We can go, we can go five out of seven days and still not have enough. But Kelsey was dragged to everything, sporting events, school events, everything, and, and just, you know, and you see this with everybody's children, and just went along with the flow, okay? And had fun doing it. She had great role models in her sisters, but I think about the halftime entertainment at the Notre Dame, Notre Dame basketball games, where Kelsey would be out on the court at four and five years of age, trying to make the foul shots, okay? And we talked last night at the rehearsal dinner that all that practice at four, five, and six, it paid back many times over when she was at the line with her fellow teammates from Notre Dame in 2009. Kelsey went on to Stonehill, which was a great fit for her. And I, I, I talked earlier tonight about, you know, kind of the decisions. And Dan's parents have said to him several times when, they, when he was leaving the house, they said, Daniel, make good decisions, okay? And good choices, good decisions, okay. Kelsey always made good decisions, whether it was at home, academically, she made the extra pass. She was unselfish in everything she's done. When she went to Stonehill and played lacrosse, she had to make some decisions about that. Her coach here, Katie Lambert, I can you know, remember the things in life. When we had the recruiting meeting, and Kelsey had been recruited by a lot of different schools and everything else, and Katie looked at Kelsey and I said, she said, why should I go here? And she goes, Kelsey, you're a winner. Join a winning program, okay? And it worked together. They had a ball. 
All of the friends that are here from Stonehill, whether they played lacrosse or not, are, I think, friends for life for Kelsey. I was 10 years old when Kelsey was born, and I always felt like Kelsey was my child in a way, or that I was like a second mother to her. I remember taking pictures on my Polaroid camera of Kelsey taking her first steps and how proud and excited I was. Being that much older though, I was already out of college and fortunate enough to be able to see many of her games in major sports moments. I also got to bring my kids to see her play and coach at Stonehill, which I know they loved and so did I. Kels, I'm so proud of the woman you have become. You're a homebody at heart, but you're always up for any adventure too. You have persevered in pursuing the career of your dreams, and I know you will make an incredible athletic director someday soon. Kelsey has been such a fun, loving, and generous aunt to her six nieces and nephews. From dance parties, to sleepovers, to road trips to Stowe, and a special birthday outing to the Blue Man Group, she loves each of them so much and it truly shows. There's no question that Kelsey will be an amazing mother one day. My wish for you, Kels and Dan, is that you always support and love each other the way you do today. Your mutual love and respect will shape the lives of your future, pale, freckled children. And I can't wait to see that. Court and I are very comfortable and beyond happy to hand our baby sister over to you, Dan. But I can't promise that I will ever stop feeling like a protective mother to my little Uggs. <laughs> They are as compatible as two peas in a pod. And I can tell you that it gives me great confidence in declaring here in this beautiful hall that I have 100% confidence that what all of us in this room are witnessing is the beginning of a great life together. I now present to you our newly married couple. some guy. <laughs> to get the full value of joy, you must have someone to divide it with. So raise your glass with me to Dan and Kelsey. I feel Cheers. like a young John Cusack, like making big mistakes. I feel like for the first time in a long time, I am not. Like when I close my eyes When I close 